When a storm hits, we take cover. But for these guys, they live for this. To come face to face with the most extreme weather Mother Nature can throw at them. They're storm chasers. But they don't chase storms just for the thrill of it. They actually have an important job to deliver crucial weather updates for the most accurate forecasting. If you're interested in storm chasing, where do you begin? What better way to learn than a guy who battles deadly tornadoes and fierce hurricane winds for a living? If you want to become a storm chaser, it's very important to learn the meteorology as well and to learn the basics of forecasting and to have a well-rounded knowledge uh, when you approach the hobby of storm chasing. That, that'll make you a more successful storm chaser. It'll reduce the times that you'll go out and may bust and not see a storm. Reed Timmer, a veteran storm chaser, has been in this profession for years. He says there are many options to choose from to begin learning the nuts and bolts of the business. You could go to your local National Weather Service office and attend a Skywarn training course and uh, start learning storm chasing before going out there. I also recommend to watch as many videos as you can online as well. There are so many resources available online to get started in storm chasing and also to learn meteorology. A word of caution, however, storms are not kind to chasers who lack experience. You definitely want to go with somebody that knows what they're doing, go with a veteran storm chaser, and learn the basics of storm structure first before you head out into the field. You definitely want to realize that you're getting into very dangerous situations, and it's definitely not uh, for the inexperienced because um, these storms can become deadly very quickly if you don't know what you're doing out there. Despite the risks, storm chasing contributes greatly to the handling of storm coverage and detailed weather forecasting. The adrenaline rush simply comes with it. You would also be in good company with a large network of other chasers. Reed Timmer says there's never too many people entering this profession. Well, the network of storm chasers are very important out in the field for the warning process as well. They act as the eyes out in the field for forecasters and for National Weather Service meteorologists. And the more eyes that we have out in the field, in my opinion, the better. And these days, with so many storm chasers out there, it's very difficult for a tornado to go unreported, uh, which is very important for warning people in the path of those storms and uh, for providing uh, potentially life-saving information. If you think this job's for you, then study hard and good luck. We look forward to having more storm chasers out on the field. For more videos just like this, head over to AccuWeather.com. For AccuWeather, I'm Eric Alston.